Hey guys, today we get to talk about an interesting speculation. Um, normally it would be a single, but this time we are going to talk about a box. So I'm not the biggest fan of buying boxes to sell and speculate on, mainly because shipping is so... It costs money to ship the box to you normally, and it costs money to ship the box to someone else. And a lot of times that someone else is worried about the box condition. So, for instance, if you were going to ship a box of Innistrad, original Innistrad, yeah, you made some money, but you have to make sure you package it well, you have to uh, make sure that there's peanuts in it. I mean, the box condition for a lot of people who would buy a box at $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, uh, the condition would have to be very high. Now, why I want to talk about Conspiracy Take the Crown is there is a $56 card in this set as a non-foil. Foils of this card are insane. It used to begin at $9, and now it's $56. There's also Show and Tell, Berserk. I mean, there's some quality cards in this set. And it really took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting to buy any of this set uh, when it was announced, but the, the quality was so good, I had to. Now, what's the average price of a box that I would suggest buying? So, David Adams, you get free shipping, as you can see, or actually, it's not free shipping anymore. Oh, it is. Uh, free shipping over $199, flat shipping for $695. And you get free stuff. So, David Adams, I've got play mats, sleeves, autographs, photos, even like a jersey once, I feel like. So, you get free stuff, and they ship it to you for no cost. Meaning that there are stores around you locally that should be able to sell these boxes for you at $65. Uh, That's what I found out is stores right now, because A for Revolt, they need the new hottest set. They can't sit on old inventory. It's like any business. If you have old inventory and it's not selling, you need to get rid of that old inventory to free up cash flow to buy new inventory. So these boxes are selling locally around me for $65 in cash if you buy six or more. Now on eBay, they're selling anywhere between $80 buy it now and $64 or $75. There's also eBay coupons all the time where you save like $20 off a a purchase of $50 or more. There's credit card refund. There's ways to get this box if you choose to buy online a lot cheaper. Uh, credit card refunds, American Express always gives me 2% back, uh, TCG Player, and even just car- David Adams just gives you free stuff, right? You can even send an email saying, hey, I don't want the free stuff, can you just take off $5? There's also coupons on David Adams that you can find easily online. So overall, the box is a very good price because I haven't seen a box this low since Dragon Maze. And this is a set that is way better than Dragon Maze in terms of value that you can open. So, I like it. I like it a ton. I only see the cards in it going up. The question is, how much supply is there? For my research, there's a lot. Eventually, it will dry up. And the $56 card may eventually be $80. So... I I like that type of gamble. Whenever you're buying a box, it is a gamble. But if all you have to do is pull that one mythic and then you pay for your box and every other card is free, I like that gamble. That is a gamble I'm willing to take. Expeditions, the ratio and the value is not as good as this particular card with this particular set. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you think I'm right, you think I'm wrong, and what is the lowest price you can get a box for. Anyway, bye guys.